What are my hopes for the United Methodist Church is such a big question. Um, it is no hidden secret that the United Methodist Church is at a really weird place, and we've been saying that for years, but it keeps feeling like more and more tension about to snap. For me, I deeply believe, as everyone you know, up for ordination does, in life, death, resurrection, that constant cycle. And I do believe that the United Methodist Church is probably about to hit that place of death. Not in that dark way of everything's ruined, but in that sense of, okay, if death is here, resurrection is coming. And I think it's going to be really painful for a little bit and confusing for a lot of us, but I wouldn't be sitting here today if I didn't deeply believe in that resurrection power. And I know our churches are gonna experience that, our congregations are, and uh, me and my own personhood will as well. What I love about the United Methodist Church is our connectional system. Growing up in the non-denominational church, that's not really a thing. You might make friends from other churches, but in the UMC, you are going to immediately find people who love God in the same way you do, have that similar theology, but also because it's that big tent church, uh, are able to push you in your theology and also love you and stand by you and encourage you. and. Truthfully, at this point in my life, the majority of my best friends, the majority of the people investing in my life are due to the connectional system of the United Methodist Church. So my context of ministry is youth ministry, and I'm obsessed with it, I love it, I adore my students. They are not just the future of the church, they are the church now, and they act like it, and they know this, and they are empowered to make a difference. And the spaces we create in youth ministry, I think the best way we build these connections is asking the people who are in those communities rather than assuming we know what they want. And so I've been speaking with a few students, um, students who are gay, about, okay, what does a life group, like what do you want in a life group? And just sitting down and talking with him and hearing like, I would love a co-ed life group. I would feel safer in a co-ed life group. And okay, so now it's on me as the pastor to make that happen. Find volunteers who can lead that and lead that well, and also lead that gently. Because anytime we do something new, I hate that it's new and it's already 2022, but new, we wanna make sure we're treading carefully to make sure that people feel their voices are heard, especially the people who matter in this community.